So I know that we have all been using Google Forms pretty regularly. That is one that teachers tend to really like. It is integrated with G Suite. It works beautifully with Google Classroom. People love it because it's very user friendly. It's self greeting and all of that. And we've been using it for all our tests and quizzes and exit tickets and any kind of activity, a survey, anything at all, because, you know, the responses are automatically, you know, sent to us, which is fabulous. And we love that. But now teachers have been asking for things they could do to make their Google Forms a little bit more enhanced or a little fancier. And one of the features I really like is um, to add your own voice into a Google Form. If you've used Forms, you know that it's very plain to look at. It's very text-based if you leave it that way. Of course, you know there are lots of features that you can add to it. But this feature of adding your voice can really, really help so many of our students, the ones that are just really young, elementary-aged kids that are non-readers, uh, perhaps the kids who are English language learners, perhaps the kids who have an IEP or have some learning disability uh, that, you know, hearing the words as well as seeing them printed on the screen would really be beneficial to them. So the first thing to do is to create your form like you always do. And then you're going to use, it does involve a little bit of a second step, I guess, because right now, I don't know if it's coming, but right now Google Forms does not have a way to embed audio directly into it. So you do have to go outside and there are, you know, as always, 9 million ways you can do the same thing, right? So there are websites, there are Chrome extensions, anything, any way at all that you can easily record your voice you know, grab that file and save it um, or import it into the form, you know, is really the only way, the best way to go. Um, so there are three that I have used personally. One was a Chrome extension called Audio Recorder, but not everybody works on a, a PC or a Chromebook. So Chrome extensions aren't always the best option. Um, OnlineVoiceRecorder.com, super user-friendly. But the most user-friendly website that I've come across is vocaroo.com. So here's what it looks like. It, I mean, you can't make a mistake with this thing. It's so ridiculous. There's nothing on the screen, right? It's the website and a record button. So it does exactly what you would expect it to do. So I had already made a really simple quiz I was using for some other purpose. And I said, I'm going to use this to show how easy it is to add a voice recording. So let's say that this was a question. I mean, it could be something simple like this. Someone who's maybe five years old and doesn't know how to read yet, you know, this could be a challenge for them, right? But sometimes our questions get a little bit uh, lengthy or they have vocabulary in them that maybe the kids don't know how to pronounce or they don't know how to read. A voice recording would be perfect. So mine is going to be really simple and probably isn't really warranted for this question. But you can see, you know, maybe some applications in your own personal curriculum. So my simple question is, what color is the sky? So if I wanted to add alongside the text, um, the actual audio of me saying what color is the sky here's how easy it is to do it's ridiculous you go to vocaroo.com press record as soon as you're ready to speak and press stop as soon as you're done speaking so here we go what color is the sky done so now again there's hardly anything going on on the screen here except for a new button that's called save and share so if we click that it provides a URL. And that's all we need. So you don't have to do anything else. Some of those other sites and extensions that I mentioned, it involves one more step because you'd actually have to download a file and then, you know, grab the URL from the file that you save to your Google Drive. This eliminates that step. It's amazing. So anyway, here is our copy button. Here's our URL. So we'll hit copy. I'll go back to my quiz, which I'm still editing. And I can click right inside my question box here. And I'm simply going to paste Control V, or if you're on a Mac like me, Command V. And there goes, I mean, it's not pretty, but it's the URL, right? So now when we go to preview this, so say I'm a student, we want to see, you know, how does it look to a student, right? If I click the little eyeball up here along the top uh, near the, you know, all the, the toolbar here, all I'm going to do is uh, click preview, and this is what it will look like for the kids. 
So this tells them you could even if you wanted to, if it was the first time you were doing it or something, you could add more text that says, you know, click the link to hear the voice, the question spoken aloud. You know what I mean? Something like that. But in the meantime, it's very obviously a hyperlink. Kids, I think, are familiar with, you know, clicking on things that are, are clickable. So if we click on that, here it comes, and we can just press play. What color is the sky? Done. So the kids have now heard the question. They do have to go back into their quiz, you know, with another tab up here, and then they can make their choice and submit their answer. Done. So simple. Really um, such a, a cool feature for Google Forms that I really think, you know, so many students and teachers can benefit from. If you have any questions at all, please reach out anytime. You know where to find me.